Okay, so this video I want to talk about Ozempic because it is all the rage, everyone's talking about it, and honestly I feel like there's more discussion on this than needs to be, so I'm jumping in real quick to the conversation um, to just squash this shit right meow, okay? How does Ozempic work? It helps by mimicking a hormone, the GLP-1, and it plays a role in digestion and appetite regulation causing you to feel full so that you eat fewer calories. Ozempic, Wagovi, Stemoglutide, whatever these shots are that people are getting to lose weight, they help you eat less. What happens when you eat less? You lose weight. What happens when you get off of the medication? Your appetite comes back. What happens when your appetite comes back? You eat more. Okay, and what happens when you eat more? You gain weight. Oh, wow. That's pretty straightforward. I myself considered, you know, well, shit, like maybe this is the finally the magic drug, the magic shot that's gonna help me lose all of the weight and like be my little lord and savior. You know, this, all the celebrities are taking it. Yeah, the celebrities are taking it because they can afford, this is an expensive medication, costs around $1,300 a month, I believe. The celebrities can take it because they can afford to take it for the rest of their fucking lives. They can also afford to take it in the maintenance dose after they lose the targeted amount of weight that they want to lose. Also, on top of that, these people or these celebrities that are taking it have guidance and help from nutritionists, fitness instructors, doctors to support them on their maintaining the weight loss and their weight loss journey after the fact, after they get off. The normal people like us taking uh, or investing in something like Ozempic or semaglutide and trying to take the easy way out to weight loss, yeah, it's probably not going to be a sustainable option for weight loss because once you stop taking it, you're not going to have the support of the doctors or the nutritionists or the fitness instructors to continue to support your journey and guide you. Unless you have the self-discipline of motherfucking Tony Robbins or some shit that you're going to really stick to some insane healthy eating, eating lower calories, despite the cravings that come back, despite your appetite coming back. Honey, considering the fact that you want to go on um, Ozempic or semaglutide in the first place, I'm going to say you don't have good willpower. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say the willpower is probably not there for you to continue when you get off of the medication. I'm going to just throw it out there because I'm going to just be real with you now. <laughs> Sometimes you need somebody to be real with you. So, <clears throat> I'm going to say that. And no, I'm not talking out of my ass because I went ahead and I looked up some studies. Yeah. Yeah, I looked up some studies. I found some information that might be of interest to you. Um, where's the graph? Science wasn't my um, best subject in high school. I was in advanced classes. And I did terrible in all of them because I probably shouldn't have been in advanced. But I passed. So. If we take a look at this graph that I'm going to put up on the screen, this is uh, exhibit A here. This is body weight change from the baseline. So this was a 68 week treatment phase on semaglutide. And then with the little, the dark squares, the semaglutide and the placebo that people were given is the gray one, right? or whatever color that is. I'm colorblind, honey, so don't come for a bitch. So when they were on the semaglutide, yes, they consistently over the 68 week treatment lost weight. Amazing. A little bit with the placebo, you know, delusion can go a long way. Delusion can go a long way. We, I'm trying to live delusionally for 2023. I'm going to tell you that much. Now, 52 week off treatment extension phase. This is people when they got off of the medication, okay? Oh, look at the weight creeping on up. It's like that song. I'm a creep. Oh. What's another song that's creep? Radiohead. I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. Um, I hope that doesn't affect any copyright. Anyway, so as you can see, 
people, the weight creeped up. Even the people that were on the placebo, they're over here like fucking going crazy and shit being like, oh my God, I'm off, I'm off the meds. I'm gaining weight, my appetite's back. Like that's how crazy we can make ourselves. So, and look, did they gain back all of the weight? No. I don't actually need these glasses. So I'm just gonna take them off. Um, did they gain back all of the weight? No. Maybe it's worth it for you to spend $1,300 a month to lose like, I don't know, like five pounds. Like maybe you'll keep five pounds off. Some people have claimed that, you know, like um, she's a TikToker, Remy, Remy Bader. She claims she gained double the weight back when she got off of Ozempic. So, you know, just, just a little something to think about. Like, is it worth the risk? And, and look at this, 68 weeks that people were on the medication, okay? Damn, that's a long ass time. That's a long time, dude. And then 52 weeks, gaining it all back slowly, it's creeping up. Why are you gonna put yourself through that emotional stress? Just do it right the first time, people. Come on now. But let's go ahead and take a look at C-graph. We can see here the semaglutide and the placebo, right? So again, boom, drop the weight, boom, gain the weight back. Not all of it. Maybe that's worth it to you. It's not worth it for me, especially like if you get down to that like goal weight and then you gain like more than half of it back. It's just like, oh, you know, it just, that shit hurts. Cause you saw what it was like. You saw yourself at your goal. You're like, wow and then gain it all back. But everyone keeps talking about Ozempic face. Ozempic face is basically what's happening to people when you experience rapid weight loss. Your skin doesn't have time to adjust to the loss of fat and therefore it don't bounce back real quick, especially for older, um, and you don't have good skin laxity, just kind of starts to shine. And then you start seeing people looking like, look like Tales from the Crypt. I'm gonna just be real with you, looking like Tales from the Crypt. It's just not worth that kind of side effect. At the end of the day, rapid weight loss is not sustainable weight loss. And that's what I have to say about Ozempic. And it's like really annoying that everyone's like, eh, eh, what about, maybe, eh, eh, what are the study? Look at the study, like stop debating it. There's no debate. Look at the fucking scientific study, okay? Use our noggins and let that be. So will I be going on uh, semaglutide or Ozempic? I definitely thought about it. Will I be doing it? No, because I would rather have a long-term result than just put my body through a, a medication, a stress, losing weight, loss of appetite, fucking up my metabolism. So yeah, no, I am not gonna do Ozempic or semaglutide and those are my reasons let me know in the comments below what you think what is your opinion goodbye